In this video we're going to be shrink fitting a bush, freezing oil, coolant and water, seeing which one freezes first and last, trying to cool a warm soft drink and beer can down to drinking temperature and blowing up some water bottles. So we've got our hands on some more liquid nitrogen. First thing we're going to do is try and freeze this bush down. We're going to have a look at how much this bush actually shrinks when we freeze it down with liquid nitrogen. Measuring the bush before we shrink it down, it is 51.05 millimeters uh, outside diameter. So now that we've got that warm measurement, we're going to stick it in a tub of liquid nitrogen. So it stopped boiling vigorously now, that's usually a good sign that the bush is at the lowest temperature or the same temperature as liquid and it's not going to get any smaller so we can now take this out and measure it. So the bush has shrunk 0.05 mil, which is not too bad for a little bush like this. And once I line it up straight, it'll slide right in. As the bush heats up, it expands into the bore and then becomes an extremely tight fit. It's like it's nearly welded in there and you can see the frost melting away that's a pretty good indication that you can do what you want with it now it's not going to come out next up we're going to see what freezes first water coolant or engine oil. So this is normal tap water. Next we have cat coolant. This is 50-50 premix blend. And last we have engine oil. This is a 15W40 mix. So I'm just going to tip some liquid nitrogen out of the esky into the top of the lid and then we'll sit the tray in the liquid nitrogen and see what happens. So almost straight away the water is starting to freeze and the coolant and engine oil is pretty much the same.
surprisingly the engine oil is starting to gel up down the bottom before the cat coolant is and I would say it's starting to freeze the water is definitely looking like it's going to be the first one to freeze but the coolant isn't gelling up or freezing at all So the engine oil is definitely starting to freeze, it's gone very jelly like, it's nearly like grease and I would say that the cat coolant is beating it, the cat coolant is going to be the last one to freeze. It's pretty much a liquid, it's, there's a little bit of a film down the bottom but I wouldn't call it freezing, I would say the cat coolant is still, still a liquid. This is probably not the best engine oil to use in this experiment because 15W40 is designed for above freezing uh, conditions so it's not real fair on it. You can see it's it's pretty pretty close to freezing. The outside is definitely frozen, just the inside is a bit gooey. Uh, the cat coolant looks like it doesn't care whether it's freezing or high ambient temperatures. It seems to be able to do its job in, in either condition. So fast forwarded a few minutes and it's pretty much the same result. The engine oil is pretty much frozen, it's gooey, you definitely wouldn't be able to pump it. The coolant is starting to gel up but it's still fairly liquid and the water of course is frozen, it froze a long time ago. So I'm going to put the tray back in the esky and I'm going to tip liquid nitrogen all over it and see that the coolant will freeze. Okay, that's been about five minutes now and it's covered in liquid nitrogen as you can see everything has frozen. The oil is definitely frozen and the coolant has frozen. So the coolant one, followed by the engine oil, and then the water of course froze first. I tried to break the coolant and engine oil out, but they would not come out in a single block. Okay, next up we're going to try and cool a ambient temperature drink down to serving temperature. Now I googled serving temperature, and Google thinks it's 45 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're going to run with that for now. So first I put a open can in a bath of liquid nitrogen and it did not work out well. 
as you can see it just started bubbling out of the can and then got into the liquid nitrogen and just made a mess I was worried about the can exploding so that's why I wanted to have the lid cracked but that doesn't seem to work so we're going to have to try it with the can unopened This is the can after, not the result we wanted. So moving on, we're going to put some liquid nitrogen in the tray and then just try and roll the can back and forth over it. I have no idea how long it's going to take to freeze a can down but I wanted to get it down to drinking temperature in under two minutes so trying to keep it under two minutes we might as well open it up now and see how cold it got and it didn't get very cold at all it's only got down to 70 Fahrenheit so it's only minus 10 degrees we start off at about 80 so that didn't work real well, on to plan B. The ESCII is full of liquid nitrogen and we're just going to dunk the whole can in there and shake it about and see how cold we can get it this way. So that's barely been 30 seconds but I just don't know how cold liquid nitrogen is going to get it. And that's pretty much the same as the first attempt so we need to leave it in there longer. Just below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So we've got two in there now and there's about an inch of liquid nitrogen in the bottom of the esky and same thing, we're just going to roll it back and forth, try and get the liquid nitrogen evenly around the can and see if we can get it down to that 45 degrees.
that's been about a minute and a half. Just checking the cans. They feel pretty cold, but I might just go a little bit more, I think. Okay, just over two minutes, so yeah, I'm good, good feeling about this one, and a lot of froth, drop the probe in, it's starting to drop, so we must be getting pretty close. So we've dropped under 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's about 45. There we go. So we've got it to serving temperature. And we've got a lot of head on it. Uh, I don't think you can really freeze a beer down that quick without getting that type of result. Uh, and it just comes with the territory. You're just going to get some head when you're doing this. Uh, let's see what the Pepsi Max should be about the same. Yep, it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit or just above. So we've achieved that in two minutes and we've also made a mess so there you go you can bring a drink down from room temperature to serving temperature in two minutes and just take a sip no nah, it's not too bad this is what happens when you put liquid nitrogen in a water bottle and then put the lid back on Again in slow motion. Next we're going to try a larger water bottle. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.